Welcome back to Animal Parade. We're down at the bottom of the water cave. Because I am going to try to get the kingfish that's out here. I need to stand at this spot. Because you always need to stand in a very specific spot and angle at a very specific angle. It's quite difficult and sort of unlikely, but... This is how you mine for fish. Exactly. <laughs> Here we have found the kingfish for down in this area. Nope, tin can. <laughs> Giant tin can. It's a drippy old merman. Oh, it's going best. Okay, don't Ew. touch that with your bare hands. Skull jellyfish. Hey, you're gonna need to pee too. <laughs> On your wounds. So a list of games where you get to pee on things. Redneck Rampage. Uh, Postal 2, and probably Postal 1. My Summer Car. Team Fortress 2, you get to throw jars of pee. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Enter the Gungeon. Yeah. Okami. Oh, yeah, yeah. And pee Attack. Definitely, definitely. And you upgrade it to Poop Mines. Right, the Golden Fury. This horse-bound flirtation. Yes, Owen. It might have been. It's unfortunate how many of the couple cutscenes could potentially qualify as sexual harassment. What you gotta understand is just don't kiss anybody. Ever. For any reason. This is such an obvious recipe, I don't know why I missed it so long. Oh! Wow, you are really getting up there, huh? She made one fried egg. I am now an expert. Okay, it's actually, like, pretty hard to fry an egg, though. It's not? No, no, but, like, to get it, to get it just right, you know? I just, I got no sense of eggs. It's, it's tough for me. That's, that's not what a potato pancake is. <laughs> Basically, the rule of thumb with eggs is if they look done in the pan, they'll be overdone by the time you're ready to eat. Oh. Carry over heat. Very important when cooking. That's why I just scramble them. Or microwave them. I hate you. You can microwave an egg. I checked with the egg farmers of Canada. They said it was cool. They said you could. I don't think they said you should. Doesn't matter. I got permission. And... I'm gonna continue microwaving eggs in a coffee cup. <laughs> and then eating them. You can't bake eggs in an oven. Then it basically does the same thing. Yep. Yeah, but this is, like, faster. And sadder. Yeah, well... Look, if I was worried about how sad things appeared, I would not be here today. <laughs> Look at that money. Wow! That was kind of ominous. The music just suddenly cut out. <laughs> yeah, actually. One of your olive cocktail. Woo! Yeah. What? That, that... Was that martini made with Mountain Dew? <laughs> that was an extremely dirty martini. Alright, let's buy our own watermill. Yay! I can now grind anything whenever I want. Anything? Anything listed on the side. Even Finn! Okay. Here's another kingfish. By far the hardest for me to catch. Only really because I have no fucking clue how to get this angle. And of course, it's the first thing I catch once I finally manage it. But you need to get the bob right in between that lower, smaller, curved tree root and the big one. 
like right in between them. And if the camera is facing the opposite way, you just got it wrong. Like, you basically need the camera facing this way as well. It is very tricky. But for that, you get a big one. Hmm. And I'm catching another, because I am not coming back to this fucker. So as long as you've got the spot, you can just sit there and keep catching them? Yep. That's... okay. An inexhaustible supply of giant arowana. Fish farmers of America hate him. Oh, and some gloop! Yeah, I got some gloop! You got the old one from Demon Souls. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Candace? Okay. This is what happens when you befriend one of the bachelorettes to Five Hearts. They come to your house asking for advice about actually pursuing a relationship with the bachelor. Herbal tea. Give him herbal tea. You get the chance to say that's a bad idea in the off chance that you're actually trying to pursue him instead. I'm very clearly not going for Julius, so have Adam, Candace. But he's so... so... Yeah, no, I got nothing. He's weird. He's so purple. He is aggressively purple. Look at her shadow, she just stopped right off camera. I never saw that before. That's amazing. Let's make use of our watermill. On my birthday! Happy birthday, best. Happy birthday, get grinding. I don't think I'm friends enough with anyone to get anything. Which is too bad. I think the watermill functions entirely on watermill rules. So like, with the windmill, it depended on the wind. But with the watermill, it depends on the weather. I could be wrong. Because... It seemed completely inconsistent every time I tried to do it. That is not what sauteed spinach looks like. You put in, like, an entire bag of spinach and you get a tiny little dot of whatever's left over. I'm in love with you, too! <laughs> it's me, Captain Purplecoat. <laughs> I stole the ship from him. What's his face? Percy? Pascal. Close enough. Moon festivals, and we all line up on the road, and when a tourist bus comes by, we all drop our pants. <laughs> but no, you won't get in trouble with it. I'm the ultimate authority here. I'm basically a king. Yay for the crybaby. I mean, it'll never come true, but hey. And I believe that is the last wish. Yay! You've achieved nothing. Now ultimate power is mine! Oh, ho, ho, wizard. Come on, wizard. Do it, wizard. So that was just a date. Now we're actually going to the Moon Festival. I had to talk to him twice. Look, uh, 
this calendar fills up quick. You gotta book in advance. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> the entire time I was just trying to give him a fucking mushroom. Everybody's hooking up! It's nothing to do in fall, so we're just gonna bone. <laughs> well, I mean, there aren't many girls in town for him to get. I basically live with a shaved bear. <laughs> Can we live with an actual shaved bear? Oh, yes, please. Possibly. We could call him Nudie. When you fully have upgraded the house to level four, you are able to adopt one of the big animals. Yeah, at five hearts, the bachelor will invite you out on a date. Aww. Oh, you're gonna see stars. Lots, lots of stars. Oh, you like star. <laughs> yes, guy with the big telescope, of course I love stars. <laughs> Eight stars. I look up at them and keep thinking, oh, it's an alien spacecraft. But then it's just a star. I just shake my fist. And what's the deal with being able to see stars during the daytime? <laughs> the day does not belong to you. And I randomly caught an anglerfish. Cool. I don't think I was really trying, but hey. But hey, let's set it on fire on the beach. Yeah. Well, it'll be worth ten more gold. I don't even want to know what an anglerfish would taste like. Now let's do the same with the cod. Because I had caught one previously, but I hadn't cooked it yet. I do like the, you know, hey, dumb shit, it's the moon festival, don't forget. <laughs> Werewolves of Harmonica Town. Yep, that's right. Ah woo! <laughs> ah woo! Wizard's the only werewolf in town, and all that changes is he becomes articulate. <laughs> I say the full moon has a certain je ne sais quoi to it, wouldn't you agree, best? Yeah, it does have genes you can see in a quail. <laughs> we called it a recording. Oh my god, get over it. <laughs> <laughs> And I cut a carp, which is another one of the fishes I was missing. Pretty much only for grilling. Oh yeah, chillin' and grilling. With the birdie. Oh, hey, Bess, can I get a bite of that? Uh, go, God. Oh, oh no. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. <laughs> it's the majestic Hamilton rise. <laughs> Look at all those people. And then there's none of them there. Is that what you call it? <laughs> <laughs> of course it's by myself. I think not until you've actually married Wizard will he be able to take pictures with him. Well, he doesn't show up in photographs anyway. <laughs> Thanks for waiting for everyone to leave. I brought some rocks. I, I hear you people like to eat things 
like this. I mean, it can't be worse than that yam teeny. I made some dumplings, by which I mean I found some tiny things in the dump. <laughs> Wait, is is that not what those are? And so did I. Not <laughs> <Like that> again. <laughs> bum, bum. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Oh, sorry, that's my heartbeat. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, 17 pots of coffee. <laughs> a few years ago, it was a Calypso beast. <laughs> and we get a love letter for going on the date. I say a love letter. Dear best, I hope you are well. <laughs> He's a very formal man. Thank you very much. Thank you again. I, I write less formal thank yous after job interviews. <laughs> Yours respectfully, wizard. <laughs> W-I-Zerd Esquire. Oh, I don't have the money. I want an ostrich. Ah, oh, well, we'll have to settle with silkworms. Hey! That is not even remotely the same. Those are the ostriches of the of, of the trees. But no, stop trying to make excuses for him. No, no, silkworms are exactly the same as an ostrich. You can ride them. They are topologically equivalent. Yes, they are. <laughs> Happy birthday, because you're not quite at the heart rating I want you to be at. I want everyone to be married. Lord, it's not like everyone's nosy aunt. That's pretty much what I am. I'm hooking everybody up. You're 22, aren't you married yet? You should find a nice doctor and settle down. Oh. You beat me to my own joke. Yeah. Well, gee, I don't know. Yeah, fine. God. Do I look like Dear Abby? Dear Bestie. Dear Bestie, I have all these yams and I have no idea what to do with them. <laughs> Please help. I haven't seen my floor in three weeks. I think I lost my husband. Bester's responds with, <sighs> They have silkworms now. They made them cute. And that's still very weird to me. Yeah, no, it's not weird at all. Cuties are cuties. Whoa, they're expensive. And you'll never guess what I named them. I develop a little theme with naming the silkworms. <gasps> Skippy! It's me! It's you! With an E. Scott. And now it's you! Yam E! <laughs> Yam E! Damn it! Uh, uh, <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I am more yam than man. <laughs> now I can buy a yarn maker. Semi-periodically, the silkworms will drop their cocoons, which you can turn into silk yarn. Oh, they're so cute! Oh, look at his little face! Oh, they got big bulbous heads! <laughs> oh. Do they move at all, or do they just rotate in place? They just stay there. They will never leave. They're like a little shrimp! Why did you oh. nail them to that box? Yeah, they do look more like shrimp than worms. Kind of an interesting thing about the level 3 coop. They will eat out of the corners there. That's their food. It's a strange way of making it work, but it does work, I guess. 
So silk yarn is worth a good amount. But of course we can dye it, and we will do that eventually. I'm pretty sure I have the dye pot already. Bought it a long time ago. I haven't been able to use it yet. Oh my god, the silk worms are so cute! <laughs> Did you just what did you just mix? Royal jelly and an egg. And because of that I can not be confused or blind anymore. That wasn't an egg, it looked like a mandragora. No, you're not going anywhere. Okay. Wow, I like magic mushrooms too! Make sure you eat it all at once. Shoves in his pants. I'm a big kid now. <laughs> oh dear. That's a good attitude, Taylor. Don't care about failure. I mean, self-loathing is pretty bad. This is you. I needed both Anissa and Taylor to Four Hearts to get a cutscene with them. But I can't see the cutscene until summer. Because it has to be thunderstorming. Yeah. Yarn is always worth more than the material itself. Hello, Burb. Didn't we already get Burb reward? We can get more every Thursday. Alright. He's the bird that keeps on giving. Uh. Now look over there during the rain. What was that? That was a buddy we'll be going back to to see. Because that was not a good angle for it. And I didn't have a camera. Also, I bought some flax, even though the flax itself was more expensive than the yarn. Let's actually dye some of this. The different colors have different prices. The most expensive ones are blue. So basically, don't bother dyeing anything anything other than blue. Like, say, purple? Yep. I thought there might be different recipes for them. There aren't. The dye pot does not count towards your recipe list, thankfully. But it's a thing. There, now I've got the camera. Let's take a look at this dude. It's a Kappa. Kappa. Uh-oh. Don't, uh, don't get too close or it'll suck out your soul through your anus. I accidentally hit the timer. <laughs> Timer's a funny little ability, which I'll be putting to proper use later. I didn't understand what it was for just yet. Well, the selfie hasn't been invented yet. God, approach. I am not wasting rare metal on this shit. <laughs> what does it even do for you? Nothing, really. It's just... You can give them to people. Or you can wear them. Yes. Always make watering easier. And why not? Oh, what did I do? Best, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and you're the grandfather. <laughs> I just wanted to give you some tea. It is your birthday. Being my cannonball hair. Ah, see, the wizard is at seven hearts, at which point he will confess to you. I killed a man. The bodies are buried behind <laughs> the house. I buried him at the beach. I made Pascal think he did it. I'm not the original wizard. The rights of wizard succession are by usurping and murder. The honor and dignity of wizard battle. 
That's an interesting idea. Those who know your name can control you. It's pretty classic magic mythology. You know the true names of things. My name is Wendell. It's what my name is Wendell. <laughs> You have a variety of answers. In case you don't actually feel the same, you can say, can't we just be friends? I'll say your name, but you're gonna be screaming mine. <laughs> <laughs> he is gonna wait until later in the relationship. <laughs> He's already planned for marriage. Wow. Oh. Aww. Aww. Right on the eye patch. <laughs> That's how you know it's serious. When he kisses you on the eyeball. Like a dog. Well, Beth knew it was coming. That's why she wore the eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> I want wizard spit on my eye. That's gross. Wizard, I love you, but that's unsanitary. Now have to sanitize. Hold on, let me just squirt some Purell into my eye. <sighs> See, it would have been better if you disinfected with oatmeal vodka. So next time, because I'm sort of speedrunning the relationship, it'll be the end of fall and the beginning of a beautiful marriage. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I have to get my suit cleaned. Absolutely. Get little tuxedos for the silkworms. <laughs> and also, the circus will be coming back to town. Yes! Finally! But we'll see how that goes. No, it's gotta be great. It's an animal parade, man. That's all I want, just an animal parade. You'll get your animal parade. Oh, I'd better. <laughs> I'd fucking better. But when and where? No, the suspense. Tune in next time on Animal Parade R. <laughs> Matey. <laughs> <laughs> You you lost that thread pretty hard. <laughs> I lost it really hard. That was excellent. <laughs> Are you gonna have a pirate themed wedding? Are there gonna be wenches with ale? That's a bachelor party. Ooh, ooh. silkworms are all tying one on. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Finally, we get to stop pooping silk out of our butts. Who said you could stop? I mean, we only do that like every five days. <laughs> Oh, come on, just give us the night off. My butt is raw. <laughs> Look at my silk butt. Eat him nothing but x lax and porridge. Oh, no, poor little guys. I ask you, who is going to rub soothing ointment on their silk butts? Yemi, is it going to be you? Ooh, can it? <laughs>